Hi friends, good evening. Uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, with a warm session today, we are here with some beautiful uh, subjects, uh, beautiful topics. Uh, one of the topics is voice change. So voice change is very important uh, uh, in terms of exam point of view. So whenever we have exams, so most probably we have English in every exam, every competitive exam. So today we are going to do some exercises of voice change. So some voice changes are there in the slide. So we will try to do them to our best level and one by one we are going to do. So let's begin the session without wasting time. Okay, uh, the first is See the first uh, in number one. Some happy men were selling tomatoes in the market. Okay, so this is in the uh, active voice. Okay, so we have to do it passive. So in the uh, above, it is also mentioned here that uh, do as directed. So the instruction is already given. So we have to do one by one, following the instructions given in the brackets. Okay, see mm, in the first one, some happy men were selling tomatoes in the market so this is given here tomatoes in the market some happy men were selling tomatoes in the market so we have to do uh, tomatoes in the market see tomatoes in the market this is the object part tomatoes in the market it has to be taken as subject so the tense is uh, present continuous tense so according to that we know the uh, structure of present continuous tense so here will be subject bracket object in the bracket so we know the structure and i think so we are just doing it uh, so easily okay so don't we see the thing is we have to do it into passive so in the passive we will do it like tomatoes in the market we have to take this portion tomatoes in the market were being sold by some men okay so tomatoes tomatoes in the market were being sold by some men so number one is done so number two do the number two our president is elected by us so our president is elected by us this is the this is already in the passive form so we have to do it active so we have to change the subject object phenomenon so as we have to make us as subject so it will become we okay and as it is uh, in the present con uh, present indefinite tense so we have to do we elect our president so this is very easy we elect our president this will be the answer okay this is the passive active form of this passive voice okay so let's move on to the next in the next you will see uh, the bill has not been paid by me okay the bill has not been paid by me this is again in passive voice so we have to do it active so we have to uh, to do it active we have to see uh, the bill has not been paid by me so uh, i have not paid the bill so it will be i have not paid the bill because it is already in the passive form and as we know the structure so according to the structure we have to do like this way okay the answer will be i have not yes i have not paid the bill okay number four students are making noise in the garden so this is in the present continuous tense so as we know the structure according to the structure uh, this would be like mm, mm, we can take garden maybe in the middle or we can put it at last okay so uh, students are making noise in the garden so noise in the garden we can take like this way noise in the garden is being is being made by the students okay so this is also done noise in the garden or noise are uh, sorry noise is made uh, is uh, sorry one second noise is being made by the students in the garden yes this could also be done okay and next number number five my dreams are not being fulfilled by me so this is also again in passive forms so we have to make it active so to do it active we have to do like this way uh, I 
I'm not fulfilling my dreams. Yeah, I am not fulfilling my dreams. Oh, me has to be changed into I. So I am not fulfilling my dreams. So this would be the active form. Now number six. In the num in number six, I'm preparing WBCS. So WBCS is the object. Okay. So WBCS is being prepared by me so definitely the answer is WBCS is being prepared by me as I am also preparing WBCS that's why I am just blushing okay see number seven I never believed in that news okay so this is uh, in post independent tense so we have to do like this way that news was not uh, that news was never believed by me that news was never believed by me okay I think you understood uh, move on to the next one next one is uh, eight okay some important facts were published okay this is again in passive voice we have to make it active so to do active we have to change it into past indefinite tense okay oh okay some important facts were published so the subject is not mentioned here so we have to take as a source that someone someone published the news so someone published the important facts okay someone published the important facts would be the answer okay see the next one is i drive i drive a scooter okay it is very easy it is in present continuous tense so as it is present continuous tense we have to do like this way see uh, some important facts were published by me ah uh, okay some important facts were sorry this is done and i drive a scooter okay a scooter is driven by me this would be the answer okay now move on to the next one number 10 i helped him this is again in post indefinite tense we have to make it uh, he helped me yes he him would be changed as he and i would be changed as me okay this is done so i think i hope that everyone understood this session and this this was a very important session and most probably many many a times we see questions coming from these beautiful chapters okay so guys i will request you to um, learn this structure mem memorize these structures which are given to you and in the exams just according to the structure put them accordingly the subject verb agreements okay and practice a lot do some sort of things like this okay and i think hope your exam will be fine okay so move on to the next slide what is okay one second next slide yes this is another oh it is of history okay so uh history definitely we are, our fortune has to be changed okay so i will speak in bengali right now as english is already completed okay see uh what is written here in the first question I think this is from yeah medieval and oh this is from Slave Dynasty. Okay. Uh Delhi Sultanate. Okay. The first question. The first question is given. The first question is given. Who built Kuwatul Islam Mosque? Definitely you know the answer. Who built the Kuwatul Islam Mosque? Guys, you answer first. Okay. The answer is uh Aibak. Or Kutubuddin Aibak is the right answer who built Kuwatul Islam mosque so this is definitely the first mosque uh, ever built in India okay this is also a very important information I am giving some other information relating to this uh, this uh, ruler okay and Kuwatul Islam mosque and he also again built uh, one monument which is called Arhai Din Ka Chopra Arhai Din Ka Chopra Arhai Din Ka Chopra Jumpra. This is also built by El Tutmis. So one of the important factors also is there that is uh, by, uh, while playing polo. Okay, when he was playing polo, he fell fell off from the uh, uh, fell down from the horse and died. Okay, this is also the important fact. And another important fact is that he started building the Kutubuddin. Sorry, Kutub Minar. Okay, in the memory of famous Sufi saint. Khwaja Kutubuddin Bhaktiar Kaki. So this is very important to remember. Okay. So move on to the next. Move on to the next question. What is the next question? The next question is. Uh, this is the next question. Turk e Chahalgani established by whom? Okay. Turk e Chahalgani or Chalisha Chakra in Bengali. Okay. So this is built by established by 
who established this this is established by none other than el to miss so for the facts are el to miss is uh, son in law of kutubuddin aibak okay right and he established a uh, 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 board of 40 members okay who were uh, the maker of rulers after that and it was also abolished by um, um balban during his tenure okay so 40 nobles this is called turk e chalgani or chalisa chakro established by iltutmes okay move on to the next sorry move on to the next question uh, once again move on to the next question move on to the next question okay move on to the next question next is what who introduced sizda and pibus okay sizda and pibus sizda and pibus so sizda means yes bow down before the ruler and pibus means kissing the feet of uh, sorry kissing the feet of uh, the ruler okay this custom was introduced by none other than balban 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 okay guys so balban was one of the harsh and rigid ruler okay so during his tenure he just dafa kar diya tha unhone sabko ekdam tang kar ke rakh diya tha inhone so this ruler was so harsh and he introduced not only this uh, custom he introduced a lot of other customs also he is also called uh, he, he also introduced a theory called blood and iron theory okay a blood and iron theory blood and iron theory also introduced by him okay and he also uh, introduced one festival called nowros which was a parsi festival nowros it was a festival introduced by him okay and he also introduced uh, he also called him um, the right hand of caliph right hand of caliph right hand of caliph he also called him right hand of caliph caliph sorry uh, another information is this uh, jil il ilahi yes he called himself the shadow of god jil il ilahi shadow of god he called himself shadow of god so logo ko buddh banane ka bahut sara kaam inhone kiya hai so ek matlab aisa hona bhi chahiye tha kyunki inhone jo kya bolte hai usko tar ki chal gani tha na usko abolish kar diya tha unhone so this is also he was also a good ruler as well so move on to the next one tazul masir okay who wrote tazul masir so tazul masir was a treatise written by written by hasan nizami hasan nizami hasan nizami during aibak's rule okay he was the one of the historian we can say that he was uh, in the court of kutubuddin aibak okay guys so move on to the next question guys uh, next question is that firdausi was in the court of which ruler okay firdausi so firdausi the writer of shahnama he was in the court of sultan mahmud sultan mahmud mahmud ke court par the inhone okay okay mahmud okay sultan mahmud he was in the court of sultan mahmud and he wrote Uh, he wrote shahnama and udbi was historian the court historian of sultan mahmud udbi and uh, one alberoni was also in the court of alberoni was also in the court of sultan mahmud okay all three important personalities were there in the court of sultan mahmud guys okay guys okay okay guys ha next question who destroyed lalanda university so lalanda university um, destroyed by ikhtiyaruddin bin mohammad bakhtiyar khalji so bakhtiyar khalji we can say bakhtiyar khalji bakhtiyar khalji a dangerous name yaar itna bada naam kisi ka ho sakta hai ka hmm? nahi ikhtiyaruddin mohammad bin bakhtiyar khalji so uh, so some information regarding this man he was a general of general of केस के जनरल था जनरल ऑफ कुतुबुद्दीन सॉरी जनरल ऑफ क्या बोलते हैं उसको मोहम्मदीन शाम भूल गया यार किन का जनरल था कुतुबुद्दीन मोहम्मदीन 
घुड़ी 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 मोहम्मद घुड़ी का जनरल था इन्होंने ओके ही वॉज द जनरल ऑफ मोहम्मद घुड़ी एंड इन द ईयर ट्वेल्व जीरो टू इन द ईयर ट्वेल्व जीरो टू इन द ईयर ट्वेल्व जीरो टू इन दिस ईयर ओके इन दिस ईयर ही इन बेटे Yes, Nalanda University. That was really very pathetic because it was Nalanda University was established during the Gupta period. Okay, the Nalanda University was established by Kumar Gupta one, Kumar Gupta one. Okay, in the Gupta period, it was a Buddhist. Uh, actually, this Buddhist, uh, I mean, Buddhist uh, teachings were given, Buddhist learning and teaching uh, were given uh, in the. university so this is this was a famous university and many scholars from outside uh, india they came to take the education from this uh, famous institution but it was one of the important uh, like educational center which was destroyed by this uh, what can i say very harsh ruler of ghori general of ghori it's called ikhtaruddin mohammad bin bakhtiyar khilji destroy kar diya tha inhone so so sad ओके मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इतिहास तो इतिहास ही होता है दोस्तों हम लोग पढ़ते हैं सिर्फ क्वेश्चंस एग्जाम को पास करने के लिए चलो आप नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन को देख लेते हैं एक बार हाउ मेनी टाइम्स डिड सुल्तान महमूद इनवेट इंडिया ओ माय गॉड दिस इज अनदर ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चंस दिस इज ऑफन अर्स्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स एक्चुअली द टाइम इज सेवनटीन टाइम्स ओके सेवनटीन टाइम्स ही इनवेट इंडिया सेवनटीन टाइम्स ओके एंड इन दिक्सटीन invasion okay in his 16th invasion this is also asked in the examination okay in 16th invasion he invaded uh, he plundered actually somnath temple somnath temple this is a uh, temple of lord shiva in gujarat this is in gujarat somnath temple is in gujarat ye shiva temple hai ye gujarat mein hai okay uh, this is in gujarat and this temple was just right just plundered and looted and it is said that uh, the total treasury was so huge that the elephants uh, felt uh, very tired while carrying all those treasures okay to is yes this is all can be a legend or myth okay but the temple was repaired by uh, repair kiya tha is temple ko shayad shayad nahi repair kiya tha bhima 2 bhima 2 chalukya ruler tha inhone uh vima to repair this temple okay now move on to the next okay next question next question kya hai dikhte hai dosto hmm next question is okay between whom did the first two battles of tarain or oh, first two battles to pehla wala battles jo 1191 mein hua tha between same guys uh prithviraj chauhan prithviraj chauhan aur ghuri इस बैटल में युद्ध घुड़ी क्योंकि हरे गे पृथ्वीराज चौहान क्योंकि जीते गए क्योंकि पृथ्वीराज चौहान एक भूल कर मन से उन्नी घुड़ी के एम झेड़े दिए घुड़ी के जी तक ही मेरे दिन कि दिल सेकेंड बैटल हार को प्रश्न ही छो ना यत डिस्टेशन होतो ना क्यों क्यों एज यू नो दैट द इंडियन आर सो कम्पनेट दे जस्ट ओन द बैटल एंड लेफ्ट हिम एंड अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट इयर जानते हम नेक्स्ट इयर का Eleven ninety two go the second battle of Panipat fought and the tragic incident happened. Pithviraj Chauhan was killed. Was killed. Ghuri won the battle. Okay, and Pithviraj Chauhan was killed. Okay, that is so pathetic. Okay, so, दोस्तों हम क्या करें? ऐसे बहुत सारी information हमको हम लोगों को मिल जाएगा जो बहुत pathetic है. सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन को हम लोग एक बार देखते हैं नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है नेम द करेंसी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय इलदुत में सो इलदुत में ने दो करेंसी को इंट्रोड्यूस किया मेनली एक है टंका दिस इज ऑफ सिल्वर ओके दिस इज ऑफ सिल्वर टंका एंड द नेक्स्ट अनदर कॉइन और अनदर करेंसी व्हिच इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय हिम इज जितल ओके दिस इज जितल सो दिस जितल इज बेसिकली लीफ ऑफ कॉपर कॉपर दिस टू करेंसी मतलब दिस टू क्वेंस एक्चुअली इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई हेम एंड येस दिस ऑल मोस्ट ऑफ मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज आस्ट इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो इन द एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो गाइज जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके डोंट मेस दैम ओके नाउ मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ओनली वन क्वेश्चन इज लेफ्ट 
see what is the question oh sorry 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 guys sorry okay the question is when did sultan mahmud plunder somnath temple oh i told na so no i i did not tell you uh, he plundered somnath temple in the year mm, in the year yes 1025 okay 1025 1025 matlab uh, 1025 is uh, bc me unhone sorry uh, is ad me unhone somnath temple ko सी में एक्चुअली लिख देते हैं हम सोमनाथ टेंपल को लूट किया था ओके सो दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी पैथेटिक इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके सो गाइज अगेन वंस अगेन वी आर जस्ट रिवाइजिंग इट ओके वन बाई वन जस्ट बी विथ मी द नंबर वन इज हु बिल्ड द कुतुल इस्लाम मॉक्स ओके द आंसर इज कुतुबुद्दीन आईबक नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टर्क इज चहन गानी इस्टेब्लिश बाई एल्तुतमेस एंड हु इंट्रोड्यूस्ड द कस्टम ऑफ सिजन पाइबर्स दिस इज डेफिनेटली बलबन and who wrote taz ul masir so taz ul masir is written by hasan nizami and firdausi was in the code of which emperor okay guys so firdausi was in the code of definitely in the code of sultan mahmud okay next who destroyed nalanda university okay uh, this nalanda university was destroyed by uh, bakhtiyar khilji actually he was the general of ghori okay Now next question is between whom the first battle of Tarain first two battles of Tarain fought the first two battles of Tarain fought uh, between Muhammad Ghuri and Prithviraj Chauhan oh third guys you will definitely ask me first two battles that means one battle is left the battle is third battle was fought in 12 uh 121716 in most of the books is it is written 17 okay and some books were uh, also in some books also were written in 7 uh, 1216 actually so the correct answer is this we will consider okay and between iltutmis and uh ildus 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 tazuddin ildus ildus ke sath hua tha okay tazuddin ildus okay the next is name the currency introduced by name the currency introduced by iltutmis hmm. okay maine bol diya tha aapko introduce uh, tanka and chital the when did sultan mahmud plunder somnath temple in in ila, uh, sorry in 1025 okay so guys i hope uh, you understood the lesson so these were the, some of the very important questions most of on this questions are asked in the examination so in the examination point of view this questions are very important so guys before appearing the examination before going to uh, give the exam okay just revise this one by one so the slides will be there on youtube so guys please do uh, take a, uh, a screenshot okay if you need it okay or just revise it okay so move on to the next slide what is waiting for us okay guys again we have another subject just we will memorize let's memorize uh, we will memorize some of the important questions okay see the first question mm, see the first questions uh the first question is uh, this is definitely from india into india introduction yes the first chapter of geography okay so which neighboring country shares maximum border with india this very easy this is actually bangladesh bangladesh the border length is i think uh yes 4096 km okay this is the border land guys okay and many more countries uh, shares border with uh, may can share border with india so we will learn them later on move on to the next question guys okay next question is what does northernmost point of india call okay northernmost point of india call is indira kol guys indira kol indira kol okay guys and the southernmost is called indira point definitely the southernmost is called indira point indira point and guys the easternmost is called uh, kibitu kibitu is called the easternmost easternmost is kibitu it is in arunachal pradesh westernmost guwarmati guwarmati in gujarat gujarat okay guys so these are the information so indira kol is the northernmost point and southernmost point is uh, the indira point and the easternmost is kibitu and the westernmost is guwarmati so this four important uh, most matlab easternmost northernmost southernmost so these points are very important so most of the times most of the times in exams these questions are asked these questions are are asked okay guys so move on to the next question guys see guys next question in the next question yes yeah, see 
what does northern most okay this is done and name the states passed by tropic of cancer guys name the states passed by tropic of cancer so um, tropic of cancer yeah definitely we know the eight states were there states were there uh, we can say what the what are the states was make at the jharkhand uh, Chhattisgarh. So guys, you know the information. So okay, just you do uh, uh, go to my channel and, and I think the place will not be here uh, too much. That is why I'm not writing them. Okay, and you will definitely get the answers on the, uh, in, in your notes which uh, were provided by me earlier. Okay, just you just collect the information from there. Okay, so I'm going to niche it the guys. Arabica. Arabica is a variant of witchcraft. Definitely, this is a T variant. Okay, T variant. Arabica, Eta. Arabica coffee tea or uh, tea. No, sorry, 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 guys. This is a uh, variant of coffee. Okay, Arabica, Liberica. Okay, so Java. This is also a variety. Java. These are the varieties of variants of coffee. Okay, guys. So move on to the next question, guys. Move on to the next question. The next question is Poro and Penda. Puro or Penda, a type of shifting cultivation practiced in uh, which states of India? Puro Penda. This is definitely, guys, it is uh, MP, AP actually. So, uh, this is not exactly particularly uh, in, in a particular state, okay? Uh, okay, they, they may, be, uh, may, may be cultivated, they may be uh, practiced in in two or more states, okay? So, we will consider AP, uh, MP, or uh, Kerala, okay we're also kerala okay so puro penda practiced in these areas okay eight degree channel between which two regions okay uh, one is maldives maldives guys this is a very beautiful place okay people uh, visit this place this is actually because of water and many beautiful things were made okay so most of the times just after uh, marriage the new couples visit these places okay so guys uh, uh, maldives and mini koi another is mini koi mini koi okay 8 degree channel okay 10 degree channel 10 degree channel between andaman little andaman little andaman andaman and uh, great andaman or uh, nikoba nikoba okay so guys jaga kom pore jacche ei jonno ei puro ta likhte parche na guys tumra kichu mone koro na information ami onek sathe sathe related information tomader ke provide korar chesta korchi guys to dekho guys porer je question ta ache what is the line called uh, what is the line called which demarcates the boundary between india and china okay the line is called mac mohan line mac mohan line okay so line between india pakistan is Ratcliffe 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 ne banaya tha is line ko okay uh, just after India got freedom okay and the next line is Durant line another line is between India and Afghanistan India Indo Afghanistan we can say Afghanistan that is Durant line Durant line Durant line okay guys so these three lines are important okay we have to remember these lines okay uh, more to the next question. The next question is what? The next question is what is the value of IST? Okay, IST means Indian Standard Time. Indian Standard Standard Time. What is the value? The value is 82 degree 30 minutes. Okay, 30 longitudes. Okay, 82 degree 30 minutes is longitude okay so guys are with uh, I think we have completed the revision session okay sorry we have completed the revision session so uh, just uh, once again we are memorizing the informations okay the first information is that uh, which neighboring country shares maximum border with India so definitely the answer is Bangladesh and what does northernmost point of India called that is Indra Kohl Arabica 
uh, sorry name the states passed by tropic of cancer okay you will get the answers from there the from from the nodes okay pore ki ache dekhchi arabica is a variant of which crop this is coffee uh, poru and penda this is kerala and ap okay mm, and mbo as well tar pore ki ache 8 degree channel between minikoy and maldiv আর হচ্ছে বাট ইজ দ্য লাইন কল্ড ডিমা দ্যাট ডিমার্কেটস ওকে হুইচ ডিমার্কেটস দ্য বাউন্ডারি বিটুইন চায়না অ্যান্ড ইন্ডিয়া দ্যাট ইজ ডেফিনেটলি ম্যাকমোহন লাইন অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ইজ দ্য ভ্যালু অফ আইএসটি দ্যাট ইজ এইটি টু ডিগ্রি থার্টি মিনিট ইস্ট লঙ্গিটিউড ওকে গাইস সো গাইস আই হোপ দ্যাট ইউ হ্যাভ understood all the informations all the questions here just we uh, did a session of memorization so i think uh, you got very important facts from this slides so guys if you think that these informations are really useful really beneficial for you so you can take uh, screenshots or we you can also uh, get the information from our telegram channel and guys you know uh, and uh, this will be very helpful so guys um, um do subscribe our channel okay and share my videos as much as possible guys to so that uh, we can um, reach a lot of people uh, okay lot of aspirants তো আমি চাই যে এই ভিডিওগুলোকে তোমরা অনেক অনেক শেয়ার করো তোমাদের বন্ধুদের সাথে তোমাদের প্রিয়জনদের সাথে কারণ তোমাদের সাথে সাথে তাদেরও একটা ভালো প্রেপারেশন হবে সো আমি চাইছি আর ইনফরমেশানগুলোকে তোমরা সত্যি খুব রিভাইজ করবে এক্সামের আগে অনেকবার রিভাইজ করে যাবে কারণ দু চারটা কোয়েশ্চেন তো তোমরা এখান থেকে ডেফিনেটলি পাবে সো গাইস আশা করছি তোমাদের খুব ভালো লেগেছে কালকে একটা নতুন আমি সিরিজ নিয়ে আসবো নতুন কিছু ইনফরমেশান নিয়ে তোমাদের সামনে হাজির হয়ে যাব ততক্ষণের জন্য বাই বাই গুড নাইট অ্যান্ড হ্যাভ আ স্টাডিয়াস নাইট ওকে বাই গাইস